Well, we have something new. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. It's a pleasure to have you here for some new DLC, the Outback slash Australia DLC, kind of known as the uh, Australia Pack. So if you want to check that one out, it should be available now on Steam. I have been playing tons of other games, including Microsoft Flight Simulator, which has allowed me to see the beauty of the world, including the ability to go see giraffes and uh, elephants and such in Africa in real time. But now we're going to jump down to the old Outback and see if we can build ourselves a beautiful little park or at least improve upon one in the, uh, I don't know if this is new or not, but there's a new scenario at least if you get this pack under time scenario. Looks like there's a different one too called uh, Bogged Down, but we'll be doing Outback Comeback, the uh, Tanami Roadside Zoo. So there's kangaroos now and there's uh, different types of animals added, uh, maybe koalas. I don't know exactly entirely what's in here, but we're at least going to take a glimpse and I would say if you like Planet Zoo, then make sure you go ahead and grab this one. If you love Planet Coaster, you're going to love Planet Zoo, the same folks who made those. And you know, honestly, I'd like to see something called like Planet Mall or Planet Airport or Planet Train Station or something in the future. Planet City. It'd be awesome to see what they did in that type of a build. That would be amazing. So let me know your ideas of a Planet game down below. I'm really curious to know what you folks would come up with or what would be a bad idea. Like, for example, Planet Porta Potty or something. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get ready to uh, jump into the Outback here. We're going to throw this on to easy so we get a little extra time to dig around and do stuff and at least try to have some sort of a, uh, expansion before time runs out. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in to the Outback. Thanks again for your support. Welcome to those new subs, and I'll see you guys there. Here we go. All right, here we are, the Roadside Zoo. That is beautiful. I love the people in this game, too, by the way. They're modeled so fun. It just makes me want to go back out to it. Guys, remember when we used to be able to go to amusement parks and zoos? Remember when the outside existed? Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Wow, this is beautiful, but whoa, there's a lot of vandalism in this park. Do you see those tipped over trash cans already? Okay, it looks like we're already a few seconds in, but we need to get our bearings and find out what's going on in this park. How do we make it bigger and better? Let's see, what kind of animals do we have here already? Oh, I see some bison already? Yeah, American bison there. Uh, one named Zadie. Looks like we also have some, uh, oh, let's see, flamingos over here. Nice, a greater flamingo exhibit. Looks like we might also have a little area over here to uh, install some shops, so good, we can get some more cash to make all these repairs. This place is falling apart. There's graffiti everywhere on the tables. There are trash cans tipped over. That is a shame. That is a shame. Don't do that. Pick up after yourselves. Don't put other people through your uh, laziness. Come on now. You're responsible. You can do it. All right, check out all these happy folks coming into the park. That is beautiful. Our little zoo. Although we got to fi uh, fix the trash problem, we at least have some other animals over here. What are these things? Oh, look. They're turkeys. Yes, this is where turkey comes from. Well, they kind of look like turkeys, don't they? These are actually called, um, let's see, Southern Kos Kosowai? I don't know. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It basically looks like a cross between like a turkey and uh, maybe like an ostrich. I think there's already ostriches in the game, so that's not new. But there is definitely some wonderful little tiny itty bitty. No, they're actually quite large. Kangaroos. Let's take a look if they're in here. Uh, let's see, Arnvarks, Elephants, Bison, what is... Oh, you know what? Actually, maybe we can sort by DLC. Is there a way to do that? Uh, I know you can do that with new items, but I don't know if we can actually do that with uh, with these guys. It'd be cool if we got a free one. Ooh, look at that. These are on, on sale, I guess. 716 for a big o orangutan. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there's our uh, ostriches, the common ostrich from before. Ah, uh, we have some dingoes now. There we go. Almost looks like a, a dog. Wow, that's very much like looking like a dog. Nice. Uh, let's see. I'm sure there's pretty, pretty uh, large amount of things. A koala. Oh man, there's koalas here too. I want to absolutely make a koala enclosure. And there we are. Red kangaroos, both male and female. Beautiful. All right. Well, we need some koalas and kangaroos because that's going to make our, uh, our park kick butt. But we also need to start fixing some of the problems here that are in the park. So we better get uh, hiring some staff to make some changes here. What do we have here? Staff, you need a workshop and a research center. Okay, can we click on that? Yes, okay. So we can build a workshop somewhere. We're not going to have a lot of time to make it look pretty, so we better... I suppose we could put a employees area here, maybe another enclosure here, and then... Well, we could also expand up here, so maybe we could put koalas maybe up here with a lush area. What is this? They're doing some construction? What were they trying to build there? Weird. Okay, well, whatever they were trying to build, we're going to go ahead and skip whatever that was. And we're going to build something over here. So let's build our staff area right uh, over here, I suppose. Is there a way to rotate? I've forgotten all the keys in this game. My goodness, it's been forever since I played. Hmm. Wow, I've, I'm such a noob. I've actually forgotten how to do that. Oh, we can actually put it into the ground if we want to. That's cool. Well, I certainly don't want to do that. Let's build it at least on ground level. And let's see uh, how we 
put this down maybe over here. There we go. Let's get to it, ma'am. All right, we'll design a little building around this later. This is actually a good spot to put it for staff members. Okay, let's see if we can also start hiring some more staff members. So let's go to, uh, let's see, Exhibit Zoo. Uh, let's go ahead and hire some staff. Right now we have three vendors and a keeper. So let's hire at least like three caretakers uh, to get those animals taken care of since we're going to be adding more. Let's also go for, let's see, an, a human caretaker, otherwise known as a, uh, let's see... Actually, that's the caretaker. The keeper is what I was thinking about. So we have one keeper, uh, three caretakers. We should probably hire a mechanic and also maybe some security because we got some trouble here. All these uh, whippersnappers causing trouble. Let's hire a little bit of security here to get us started. Okay, let's build a new enclosure. Now, it's been a long time since I played that, and if you're like me, then it's a great opportunity to come back and see what's new. And this might be a really good spot to build a new exhibit, and we can build a road that goes around it. And I already see a tree here, so if we kind of cordon this off from the restroom area, we will have a perfect spot for koalas and an even bigger spot for kangaroos. Is that a fruit tree there? Wow, that's a really beautiful looking tree. Uh, we also have new nature stuff, so if we sort by DLC, we can go to filters, content pack, and then see it by Australia pack. So you can see all the new little pre-designed things that we have, nature scenes, and also just individual plants. So that's kind of cool. All right, looking fancy so far. I love it. That is awesome. Okay, let's try to build an enclosure again. So I remember we need barriers. What kind of a barrier do we need for koalas? Maybe, um, let's see, maybe we'll go with something they can't climb, like corrugated steel. That'd probably be a good idea. Be hard for them to get their little claws into that. Now, it's going to be quite a large enclosure, but it's mostly because we're building across this way, so it'll be a good thing to do. What do we have here? Oh, yep. We can't touch that fence. Wow, the bison aren't going to go through that fence? That is crazy. That is a very dangerous looking fence to me. I'd want to put those things behind concrete. They're basically like a giant steer. Okay, let's build over this way. I think there's another... If you have any tips and tricks for me too, by the way, remind me of all the cool stuff in this game. I'd love to play it more. I, there's been so many amazing games coming out this year. It's been astounding. Everything from Microsoft Flight Simulator to other uh, tycoon and building games such as this one getting some much needed love. I'd love to see a bigger DLC for this game too. I would just love to see a full-fledged DLC for the game to bring in all new, completely new animals and locations and uh, more scenarios too. I love these types of things, but they're getting to it. Each little uh, area gets some new stuff. Koalas, for example, from Australia. There was also the Arctic pack and a few other things. Let's connect these two there. That'll be good for now. All right, now we can throw some windows on, I think. Uh, we can convert some of these, I think, to windows or actually make it windows this way too but let's select the whole thing because I think we should probably build it a little taller because I think the koalas with the uh, trees might try to get out I don't want that happening how do I raise this thing raise the roof baby oh I right clicked uh, let's see if we can undo that there we go good thing there's reverse huh okay maybe two meters is good to start with actually let's go with this I'll add some windows and stuff later let's add a door and if we need to increase the height or whatever we'll do it then Okay, it looks like a good spot here to put a pathway for our little uh, zookeeper to get in there. Let's go ahead and go with a path. Should be a staff-only path. How do we do that? Staff paths. Ooh, doesn't need to be that wide. Maybe down to like four meters? Yeah. Okay, we can move those plants off to the side once we're done. All right, what do the koalas need? Let's go ahead and buy one and see what we got here. I'm glad that they actually let you buy these yourself. Or kangaroos, too. How much are they? Tw oh, 250 bucks for a koala or a kangaroo? Oh, the zoo is losing money like crazy. We better get some more uh, creatures in here right away. Uh, let's see. So what else do you think is new in the DLC? I'm, I'm sure there's a full thing of patch notes. Well, I know there is because I read some of them. But not all of them. Sometimes you miss some things. Let's get Patrick and Scarlet. So we'll adopt those two. Waiting in the Trade Center. All right, let's send these two to the zoo and drop them off here. Where's the other one? Let's see. Trade Center, Animal Storage. We'll go ahead and put both of them here. All right, and then we'll see exactly what they want once we make this official. We can pause it and make all the changes as needed. While they're being delivered here by the zookeeper, let's go ahead and make a little pathway here. And we'll spruce some things up as soon as possible. So maybe we'll go with uh, what looks to be a red path here. Earth path. I think that's what they're using here. So we'll have to disguise this little staff center because guests are guests are going to come over this way and it's just going to look bad. They don't want to see that. I don't blame them. 
All right, looks like Scarlet has arrived. Before we build our path, then that was fast. Let's start working on making our koalas happy. All right, let's see. Yeah, they're definitely not happy. That's for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and pause. And actually, I think we can turn on. Isn't this our animal radar? Oh yeah, the heat map. You can see where the animals go. Wow, the koalas are going to have an incredible amount of space to go and roam. That's cool. We could have probably like cut it in half, and but what? What I want is really a big space for them. They deserve it. Okay, let's see. Uh, it, habitat is halfway there. Uh, they want more plants and a hard shelter. So that's good. Let's go with habitat. And uh, let's see, a hard shelter. So we'll go with something that's very small for them. I don't think we need something too big. Maybe like, uh, let's see, what's a smaller size one? Oh, there we go. Perfect. We'll put a little koala sleeping spot right in the middle. And I think we can put down some bedding for small animals. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We'll start with these two. There we go. And then we can build stuff on this for them to climb on top of. Let's see what else they want. Look at how cute those little koalas are. My goodness. Okay. So habitat is at 52%. Hard shelter has been added. What type of plants do they want? Uh, let's see. Severely inappropriate for this animal. And the koalas, I think, are... Are they tropical? Let's see. Uh, coverage is needing a increase, I think. And also plants are short. They want tropical or temperate. Okay, let's go with tropical. So they want more tropical. Okay, let's add some tropical stuff. Let's see, this is temperate, so this will work. Temperate or tropical are both appropriate. And what is this thing here? Whoa, is that toxic waste? Whoa, what am I doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. That's uh, not appropriate for this habitat. $1,200 to remove toxic waste? Who left that over here? For that long of a time? Okay, well, there's a barrier post there. I guess we can leave that. Holy crap. Okay, we want more tropical then. Let's see, how do we rotate things? I think it's uh, the C or the V key? or is... Oh, yes, the Z key is in uh, Zulu. There we go. Ah, yes. Now things become very pleasant. So I could have rotated my work station with that, too. But this is looking fine. Let's worry about the animals. The humans, they'll take care of themselves. Don't worry. Okay. Let's add some more little plants here. We'll make a nice little lush area over here. And maybe some water, too. Maybe we'll make, like, a little, uh... Let's see. Maybe we'll make a little... Water... Waterfront here for them. Let's see if we can shrink it down. Oh, we can't. We can't modify the landscape. Oh. So, uh, and there's a lot of maintenance problems in this park, too, I've noticed. Like, for example, uh, this water thing, I think, was sparking when I first saw it. So we need to worry about that. Flamingos can go into the water. So I guess we're going to need a water dish for these guys, too. Okay. Let's see here. So food and water. Uh, it's all starting to come back to me. This is so fun. I love this game. Put the food a little closer to here. And we'll put a little water pipe here. And they'll constantly have water. Good. Okay. Uh, what should we do next? Let's unpause and see how they feel now about the habitat. I'm sure it needs a little bit more love. But let's see how they feel. Okay. 61% improvements have been made. We need a little bit more enrichment, though. Uh, let's see. They want uh, food and toys. And habitat needs a few more plants. And I think we need to change our landscape, too. Let's take a look. Uh, grass coverage needs to be increased. So let's go back. Ooh, I hope we can actually make a change to that. Will it allow us to use grass? It does. Okay. So let's shrink this down a little bit. Intensity and whatnot lowered. Let's add some more grass. Okay, a little bit more intense. Just like camping. Okay, plants are only at 2%. How are you guys feeling about this grass? Coverage is at 10%, or that's what they require. Let's add a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let's unpause while we... Oh, it is unpause. Good. Okay. Good. All right, koalas. Let's do your thing. Bum, bum, bum. This music is so good. All right, we'll make it look a little bit better here. Auto plant grass long. Okay, let's add long grass around the house. Is there a way to see that? Yep. Okay, if you get closer, you can see... Okay. There we go. All right, the people are going to be able to see in here very shortly. 
Uh oh. Is the koala gonna try to jump? Uh oh. An escape attempt, I think. They're planning. Don't you do it, sir. Sir, don't you do it. Don't you look over there. Sir? I'll, n I'll move that tree. You two behave. I'm working on the tall grass and stuff for you all. Uh, let's see. A la uh, Australian palm. Okay, so we need a few more of those. Okay, this is okay for now. Add some more grass around the outsides. Let's see. Animal requires more plant coverage and tree coverage. So I think if we do trees now, that'll look a little more appropriate. So I think we got enough grass. Now let's make it look good with the uh, plants and stuff in the grass. Uh, is this appropriate? Trodia grass. Oh, that does not fit the scenario. Remove this plant species. Oh, cool. You can see what's appropriate and what's not. Okay. That's cool. Let's see if we can add some more stuff over here. It doesn't seem to let me put it underground there. There we go. Oh, I love decorating the little enclosures. It's the best part of the game. Okay, let's go ahead and put a little tree out front so they can have some shade during the day. How are we doing with coverage? How are you guys feeling? Getting there. Plants have increased. We need a lot of little plants here. They don't like those trodia grass. Oh, that's what they like. A eucalyptus tree. Oh, there we go. Heaven on earth for a little beautiful kangaroo. Except they're not kangaroos. They're actually koalas, but still. Koala Lumpur. Okay, let's go ahead and put another one over here. All right, both koalas are here. Nice. Did they try to escape? That was weird. They, like, were in a tree a moment ago. Okay, how are things at the habitat now? How you guys feeling? Oh, coverage is improving. Plants is improving. Good. Oh, what is this thing? A desert bloodwood tree. Oh, I don't think that'll fit. Let's just do, do some more gum trees. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Nope, that's also fine. That's also fine. This is nature. What did what did Bob Ross say about nature? Ooh, ticket prices are under underpriced. Okay, let's go five, seven bucks for uh, adult and five bucks for children. There we go. We got new animals to take care of, and they're not cheap. Okay, let's go ahead and move this down here, sir. Could you come out of that tree? There you go. Please. Wow, it actually takes a lot longer to make an enclosure than I remember. So they don't seem to like that, but we'll do some more eucalyptus trees right here. The stringy wood eucalyptus. Eh, we don't want to put it close. There we go. Alright, that'll be fine. Okay. Oh, this is going to be awesome. They're going to love this. Let's see how they feel now. How you two feeling? A lot of open ground for you guys. Hey, hey, things are getting better. Okay, plants are at 99% grass coverage. Animal requires more plant and tree coverage. So we're getting there. Okay, what do we, well, how do they feel about the terrain? Grass, too much long grass. Okay, we got to shrink that down a little bit. Too much long grass. You got it, sir and ma'am. Okay, we'll shrink that long grass down. Let's give you guys a little bit more dirt. How you guys feel about dirt? You guys like dirt? Okay, there you go. All right, let's get rid of some of that long grass. There we go. Oh, they seem to love to go over that tree. They're little escape artists, aren't they? Oh, man, we got to see these uh, kangaroos next. Those are my two favorites, kangaroos and koalas. They're, like, the best. I used to have, like, this little uh, thing that would clip on to stuff. It was a koala, and the little arms would spring back and forth and would actually latch onto things. So you could, like, uh, you know, if you wanted to put on a mouse cord or something like that. This was long ago. Back in the day. And that day was Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, hard shelter at 38%. Okay, we could do a little bit better on that. Maybe we could put another shelter down there for him. Let's give him another little old shelter. Let's see, habitat, shelter. We'll give you guys another one. Let's give you a nice little uh, shelter over. Whoa, 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 sir? Where'd you go? Wait, where is he? We have an escapee. No, they're not escaping, they're just, well, technically, yes. Ma'am, could you come out of the tree? Okay, I got a, I got a great way to get her not to escape. There we go. Oh, oh, sorry. My bad. Okay, we'll have to just move the tree. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, back in there, please. Oh, where'd the other one go? Uh-oh. Uh, they'll be fine. They're, they're fine. They're fine. Okay. 
Oh, there he is. Okay. Try me again, koalas. They're little tricky ones, aren't they? Okay, let's see. Wallabies. That's another thing I want to have in my, uh, in my little enclosure. All right, how do they feel now about the enclosure? Are we okay? Let's see how things look. All right, we probably need to do some more toys. Um, and I think that's under habitat, maybe? Or is it facility? I think it's habitats. And then we need toys. So what about for koalas? Content pack. Australia pack. A water pool. Uh, let's see. Australia, Australia pack dingoes. Indian elephants. Oh, hmm. Let's try this. Uh, ko koala. Ah, here we go. We got things for the koalas now. Herb scent marker. Okay, there we go. Put a couple of those there. And then some sort of a mirror thing that they can goof around with. Okay. Seems they really like these things. Okay, we need a food enrichment too. I don't think we have that unlocked, so we'll have to start researching that, which is typical of this game, but for the most part, they're pretty happy, I'd say. And we need some more hard shelters. Oh yeah, I was building one until they tried to escape. You got me all distracted, you little koalas, you. Okay, let's put another one over here, maybe. We'll build like a couple of houses here for them. And maybe we'll have room for kids. Cool. All right, let's add food and water nearby. Maybe another water thingy there. Oh, good. They're happy with the hard shelter. Okay. So one's for sleeping and one maybe is for hanging out. So they'll have one to chill and one to sleep in. Cool. All right. Now we just got to put some windows and stuff around this, but nobody can see it until we actually make a path. So now it's ready for the public. Now that we're done with that, we can add some nice little pathways here. Beautiful. This game is just so fun. There's nothing... There's. It, it's really like... You know, like Bob Ross said about paintings and stuff. There's, everything's just kind of a happy little accident. You know, there's uh, certain things that the animals prefer. But if you want to make a big O enclosure or a small one, so long as it's big enough for them to be happy, you're good to go. And that's what makes them happy. You know what makes me happy? Tacos. Taco Tuesday, everybody. It's not even Tuesday, but whatever. Every day is a Taco Tuesday when you taco about tacos all the time. All right, we'll make a cute little path there. We'll put down... You know what we need is more donation bins and stuff. Tell me what else we need in this park. Please do tell me. I am open to hearing your suggestions and your pro tips for the Australia uh, pack. Not just basic stuff, too. Tell me more koala facts. Okay, now, edit barrier. So if we do this, I want to first of all select the whole barrier. These koalas now need to enter a maximum security prison. They've, they've escaped on me too many times. They cannot be trusted. So we'll just go to like four meters. Nah, three meters is good. We'll add a meter onto it. Good. Okay, now let's add a few window pieces. Oh, actually, we should add a... Is there an anti-climb thing to this? There probably is. I don't remember how to do it. Isn't it under this one? Yeah, curved barrier top. All right, let's do that. So that way they can't get over the top, I believe. And then I want to add a few windows to these. So let's add windows to... Let's start over here with the windows. And we'll put windows around this corner. And then we'll stop a little bit. Cool. Ah, yes. By the way, do you know uh, the Lady Singer? It's a wonderful, talented YouTuber who does all sorts of mind-bogglingly, incredibly cool uh, enclosure builds and stuff. If you haven't subscribed to her, uh, go subscribe to that channel and go say hi. And uh, tell her she does a great job. You don't have to say I sent you or anything, but this is a great YouTuber that really does some incredible stuff that uh, I see from time to time on Twitter. So big shout out to her if she's watching. She ain't watching. She's too busy building cool stuff. But anything's cool so long as you built it yourself. Be proud. Be proud, people. Okay, so the enclosure is all done. Uh, I think for the most part, let's put down some donation bins and we'll start on the other enclosure. We'll speed up things a little bit and find out what the kangaroo's like. I'll uh, add some donation stuff here and get the path a little closer. And we'll put up some informational boards and stuff too. All right, here we go. All right, let's adopt some kangaroos. We have, uh, let's see, a red kangaroo. I guess we'll grab these two. Oh, there's one that uh, has expired. Okay, is there a lady kangaroo we can get? Let's grab these two. I know in this game you're also supposed to worry about their longevity and stuff, but I'm just trying to, you know, grab any of them as quickly as possible so we can get them into our uh, little trade center to put into our zoo. Okay, so I have an area here for a habitat. I'll show you what I did with the uh, koala habitat in just a moment. Kangaroos, I think... Probably should have like a steel mesh or something like that. Let's let's give that a shot. What do we have over here for the? Uh, yeah, this is for. Uh, I think the buffalo are also behind this type of a fence. Yeah, chain link fence. So if that can hold them, I suppose this could hold the kangaroo. But also, aren't they high jumpers? So we'll have to see exactly what happens. So let's lay out our fence again. 
Um, I think we'll go this way and try to make it a little bit more square. Uh, but kangaroos seem to want a lot of area to run around in, so we'll try to make this as big as possible. And we'll even add a little bit of water. So that way they have somewhere to go drink and we can try to uh, filter that water. Let's make it like a little area there for them. Perfect. Now, luckily with these fences, people can see through them. So, but also they might try to feed the animals. So we could try to put up a window there just so people don't touch and stay back. So let's go ahead and throw down a door. There we go. And we have a spot now for our kangaroos. So let's get them included and add them to our lovely little enclosure here. Send to zoo. And where's our other one? Oh, there he is. So the male and the female are on the way. I hope so. Okay. And we might need to have ourselves some more zookeepers. Let's see exactly what the uh, kangaroos want once they get here. We'll wait for them and start adding some uh, decorations and stuff to make them feel at home. All right, here comes our first kangaroo. Let's see what he looks like. Sped up time a little bit too so we can construct a little bit while we're waiting for a full delivery. That's a big boy. Okay. Ooh, look at him go. Nice. All right, what do they like? Uh, looks like uh, the enclosure is pretty actually good to what they want. Low number of plants. This could look a little better, though, for prettiness uh, points, I guess. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of grass over here near the water. There we go. That looks good. Okay, they want probably a little bit more grass coverage, too, just so they have something to, like, jump through. And what about plants? Let's take a look. What do you guys like? Desert or grassland plants? Okay. So let's try doing uh, Australian grassland plants. Yep, this will be just fine. So we'll go ahead and put some plants here. They also need a hard enclosure. And we'll put a little tree there. Is that appropriate? Let's see. Oh, that's also on top of another plant. Jeez. Okay, that'll be fine. All right, how do you do? We'll need to get you... Well, probably not some water. Uh, we'll have to eventually filter that water, but it's a pretty big lake for them to go through. Uh, all right, let's get the nature and nurture stuff down. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of uh, habitat for these guys. Let's see. Oh, we got to remove that. Oh, this is actually quite a large thing for them. Let's put their little house over here. And uh, we'll add some donation stuff and fix the pathway, too, so that way it looks a little nicer. Now that we've got our basic stuff down, we'll have to also put down some bedding. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's add a... Oh, maybe a large bed? I don't know how big they are. Maybe medium. Let's see. Does that fit under a uh, kangaroo? Oh, yep. Red kangaroo. I saw it. Okay. So let's add a little couple beds there for the new newlywed couple. And uh, we'll add some more trees at random, I think. They need some more uh, interesting stuff here. We got, Obviously, we got to put in some rocks, and we've got to put in uh, some more trees and things like that. But that's a good start. Okay. We need to make some money, though. We're not doing this for free. We need to be able to pay these animals' food bill, and they are uh, hungry. Let's add some little uh, benches over here, I suppose, just for grandparents and whomever to take a look. We can add a little path here to get closer, so we'll put some benches on this side, too. And let's see. Uh, we need a... Jeez, I don't know if I should add... Uh... Yeah, we'll do donation stuff. Let's try that. Bum. Barriers, nature. Ah, it's under facilities, isn't it? donation. There we go. Yeah, we're going to need that. It's important. Their food bill isn't zero. There we go. I think these are going to be a very hot commodity when people see these uh, little critters over here. Okay, let's add some more of whatever these are. Just on this side. Nice. Move some of these away from our path. Then we'll put a few of those underground. Hey, hey, looking good. All right, we'll add some more stuff to decorate, but first let's make our path around here. And let's go with the uh, layout path like this. Oh, a little thinner, though. There we go. And then we can also put, like, some informational stuff over here, and that'll be just fine. So something like that, maybe. And then we'll remove our donation box. Put that on the outside. And this little plant here can go there. And let's duplicate some trees, keep them in this area. We'll add a tree or two. Just on this side. Bring things together a little bit. It's a good idea to uh, go with whatever the developers have put in and kind of blend it together. 
whenever you do these scenarios like this. I'm just building for fun. Of course, we're probably not going to reach any of our... I don't know exactly what the main objectives or anything is, but we're just having some fun here. Ah, there they go. The cute new couple. Cool. I feel like they need some more love, though. Let's add some more uh, little plants and stuff. And they seem to be able to live in any sort of uh, weather or whatnot. Or not weather, but conditions. Yeah, they seem to be pretty good there. They need a little bit more long grass, though. So they're not too hard to please. So we'll put some long grass along this fence back here, leading to this bush. And we'll go along this way. All right, how you all doing now? Now they're happy. Good. We'll leave some dirt over there. And we'll just add some short grass. That looked good. Now we can add some more rocks and things to blend it all together. That just takes a little bit of time. The other thing I need is the enrichment. So we need uh, some of that stuff. Some of the toys. Let's try, uh, let's see, enrichment items for the kanga kangaroo. Hanging feeder there. Uh, nope, snowball melt. Let's put a big old ball over there. And they're happy to and ready to go. Wow, even easier than the koalas. The kangaroos, quite easy. We do need to feed them, though. That's important. So let's go ahead and put down a food thingy. I guess we'll put down a big old food trough near the door. And they'll be happy with that. Good. Now, I think we've got everything to keep people happy. And we've got everything that we need to uh, keep business flowing. The pr ticket price went up. How, how is business? Numbers are going up. Uh, let's see. We have no marketing campaigns going on. We've got uh, guest attendance is going down. We could do some marketing, but there's quite a few people already in the park. Uh, we are making some good money from them, too. We could add now start doing the guest services stuff. So we could add a few restaurants or whatnot. What do we have for restaurants? Let's see. Under facilities, we have ourselves some, uh, let's see, guests and facilities. Drink stalls, food stalls. So none of this stuff is unlocked. So we're going to have to build our research thing, which they were telling us here. Toilet block. That's going to be fixed here in a moment. Okay, how do we do research? That's something I'd forgotten completely about. It's been a long time since I played. It's a good excuse to get back into this game, too. If you love yourself little critters like koalas and uh, kangaroos and, well, not wallabies. But if you like wallabies, you can still, maybe there's a mod to get it in there. Is anyone else bothered by that little random stick? Hold on, let's remove that. There we go. We're better now. Good. Okay. So I don't think any of our prison escape artists are going to try to get out of here. But if they try, we can always keep moving the trees. They're always trying to get out of here. They're always curious. So you can't blame them. I think that was a really good spot to put the uh, koalas in. And the kangaroos are good, too. In fact, what we could do is build a path down here and uh, put, like, an entrance on this side and then just have it swing around. So that way we can have more room for the uh, kangaroos. We could probably include a few more uh, kangaroos in there. Um... So, uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm thinking of an idea. What could we do? Do you think we could have a bigger group? There's a thing that you can look at for social, isn't there? Yeah. Ah, adult population. We can have a few more of them. Okay, let's add some so they're not lonely. So, let's see here. Kangaroo. Okay, we could add... Now, I don't know what the layout to fe male to female is, but let's just adopt a few more, and they'll be happy. They're mostly docile, but they have their they have their moments, like all creatures. Let's see here. So what do we have in storage? Let's have Marley come here. And we'll also call in another male and female there. So Tark Tarka and Marley are coming in. Good. And then, what about the koalas? Are they lonely? They might need a friend, too. Let's see. They seem to be pretty antisocial, I'd say. Food enrichment we'll have to work on with research. And it looks like coverage is still a little low, so we'll work on that a little bit more. Hmm. Social's good, though. We don't want too many. Okay, let's continue to spray paint. We'll add a little bit more long grass and short grass. What I think they really want is more trees. They, they, there are not enough trees here for them. They want more. More! More! Okay, let's take a look now. How you feeling now? Hungry? Me too. Okay. Coverage. So we need a little bit more plants. A little bit more on the plant side. So let's add a few trees here. Okay. 
Now these look kind of the same, but I'm just curious to see how many more we need to add. If we add other plants in between that, you won't be able to tell. Well, looks like they're down here eating some more. Ah, good, we're getting closer. Good. So we'll continue to add more stuff. All right, that is it for our first look at the Australia Pack DLC. A quick look, but I like what I see here. And if you like what you see here, don't forget to click or tap that subscribe button. Smash like on the way out if you like little critters and excited for the DLC. And let me know what you'd like to see next on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being the best community on YouTube. Don't be afraid to say hi and goodbye. I'll see you next time.